Hi everyone, my name is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Welcome to another video in Jetpack Compose Crash Course. And in this video, we will learn how we can use navigation architecture with Jetpack Compose. So far, we have learned the basics of Jetpack Compose. And now, I believe that you can design some basic UIs using Jetpack Compose. But most of the time in our application, we have multiple screens. That means multiple composables. And we need to navigate between those screens. And that is what we are going to learn in this video using navigation architecture. So let's start. This is our project and I have already created something. So I have already created two screens. The first one is this home screen. As you can see here in the preview, I have a text field and then I have a list. Now whenever I will click on an item of this list, I will navigate to this task screen that is another composable function. So we have two screens as you can see the first one is home the next one is task and we need to navigate from home to task and to do this we will be using the navigation architecture and to use navigation the first thing that we need to do is we need to add navigation to our project. So open build.gradle module and then you need to add this dependency. So once you have added this dependency you need to sync the project and you are ready to use navigation in your project and to use navigation the first thing that you need is you need a nav host and to build nav host we have a composable function in jetpack compose so i will open this file that i created for my main content and it is an empty file so what i will do is i will define a composable function here so i will use the annotation that is composable now I will create a function let's say main content because it is my main content. Now inside the main content I will create a surface that we already covered in previous videos. So we have surface I will pass a modifier. So let's say I will pass this modifier that is fill max size. Now inside the surface I will create our nav host. But before that I will create a preview function just to see the preview. So I have preview and another composable function and I will name it main preview like this and inside preview I will call main content and now here we can see our preview. Now let's define our nav host. So inside surface I will create a composable function that is called nav host and you can see we have two nav hosts here. So I will use this function that takes nav controller start destination and a builder so i will select this one and this takes three parameters the first one is nav controller then start destination and then builder so let's get the first parameter that is nav controller so to get nav controller we have a function that is called remember nav controller so i will write nav controller equals to remember nav controller like this now we have the nav controller that we can pass for the first parameter. For the start destination, I will pass home because I have a home composable that I want to show as the initial screen of my application. And for the builder, I can pass a trailing lambda like this. And this is our nav graph builder. And here we need to add all the screens that I want for my navigation graph. So all the screens of your application, you need to put it here. So to add screens to your navigation graph, we have a function that is called composable and it is an extension of nav graph builder. If you control click on this function, then you can see it is an extension of nav graph builder and it takes four parameters. The first one is root. Then we have arguments, deep links and the actual content that is another composable function and you can see arguments and deep links are optionals because we already have default values for these two parameters so for this example i will just use root and the content and in coming videos we will cover how we can pass arguments or deep links 
so to this composable we need to pass root so because my start destination is home so first composable i will define as home because this home i want to display as the initial screen and now we can pass a trailing lambda and inside this trailing lambda we can call our composable that i want to display for this home root so i will call home that is my composable function and the same way you can add all your composable functions that you want inside your navigation graph so for this example i have just two composables so i will add one more and this is task and here i will call task like this now both screens are added in my navigation graph and now i can navigate from home to task because these two composables are added in my navigation graph but to navigate from home to task i need this nav controller and that is why i will pass nav controller to my home composable i have already added the parameter so using this nav controller i can navigate from home to task screen and to do this i have added a line of code inside the clickable so our task is to navigate to task whenever an item is clicked so this item is represented using this task card and here inside clickable of my card i have added this line so whenever you want to navigate from one composable to another that is added in your navigation graph you need to call this navigate function so you will call nav controller dot navigate and you will pass the route where you want to navigate in this case i want to navigate from home to task so i have passed task so it should work that's all you need to do to navigate between composables so i will just do a quick recap what i did is i created the main content i got the nav controller then i created a nav host that takes nav controller and the start destination and then inside nav graph builder i added all the composables that i want for my navigation graph in this case i have two one is home another one is task because i want to navigate from home to task i have passed the nav controller to home and here inside the clickable i am calling nav controller dot navigate to navigate from home to task now i need to set this main content to my activity so i will set it inside my trailing lambda of set content so here i will write main content like this now let's run the application and see whether it is working or not so here you can see we have our home screen now let's click on item 3 and now we are navigated to the task screen or task composable now if i press back i will go back to the home screen because whenever we use navigation architecture the back stack is automatically managed and that is why when i am going to this task screen if i press back i come back to the home screen so it is working absolutely fine so that is all for this video friends i hope you found this video helpful and learned something in case you have any problem or confusion or question you can leave it in the comments below and i will try to help you out and in coming videos we will learn more about navigation and jetpack compose for example we will learn passing arguments or passing deep links and many more other things so please share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit on that like button and i will see you in the next video so thanks for watching everyone this is bilal khan now signing off